Hello everyone, welcome to this motion control series video. I will use three sub videos to introduce this topic. How can we set up one single access control? And we will set up one function block. This function block can be used as a template function block for future use. And this function block will follow the PLC open MC motion control function block common style. And the typical MC function block it includes for example, MC Home, MC Hot, MC Stop, MC Power. Also, to positioning control the access, we need to use the Move Absolute, Move Jog, Move Relative, or Move Velocity. Those function blocks are typical function blocks. So I will use three videos to introduce how can we set up this typical single access control. How can we set up one TO? And based on this technology object, we will set up one function block. And in this function block, we will program multiple instant DB and includes all those typical MC function blocks. So our target is in future, if you got one project, that project need a motion control. And that project will use Siemens 1500 PLC or 1500T. If you set up this major function block, basically this function block can be used as a library. For each access, you can drag this function block and directly configure TO and connect to this function block. So you can quickly build up one access positioning control very quickly. And in previous video, I introduced the Siemens motion control basic concept, the main products. Also, I introduced some important materials. And in this video, we will also use some important manuals or documents. So to set up this TO, I will use this virtual access. Frankly speaking, I hesitate to do the motion control video. One key reason that is uh, I don't have the actual hardware, the motion control hardware. I don't have the motion controller drive system in my hand. Till one day, one subscriber, one friend, emailed me, said, why not make a one series video talking about the motion control? So I replied, so I'm, I hesitate to do this video because I don't have the hardware. If I don't have the hardware, how can I show the motion control, right? How can I show that movement? However, he told me, don't worry about that because that is a common case for everybody. Most of the cases we will prepare to program, prepare to test that logic, test that motion control using the virtual access before you get the hardware. So if I could make some videos and share my motion control experience, definitely those videos and knowledge will be very valuable for the people start to prepare their logic, prepare their motion program, especially for the new learner or the people just enter in the Siemens motion control. That built up my confidence to do this motion control series video. And in my series video, uh, I will use the virtual access or I will use this uh, simulation, active simulation. If I have a chance to get the hardware, definitely I will show how can we connect the actual hardware. But most of the cases, this is the exact similar way we pair our logic. We can use the PLC sim to simulate the access or simulate the hardware, the drive motion. This is also the beauty of things we are using the motion control, the TO technology object this way. Because using the TO here, technology object, this can run as a driver. This driver separate our programming and the actual drive hardware. So basically separate the drive encoder configuration here so that we can focus on the programming, those MC programming. In this videos, we will use the TI Portal version 16 as our main platform. And in next video, I will introduce firstly, how can we set up this TO and use this virtual access. And I will show how can we config inside of this TO. See you in next videos. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.